Hello, this is Bryson Englin of Sonoma Partners, and I'm here today to talk about Microsoft Dynamics CRM for architecture, engineering, and construction. So this is the first video in a series that will cover a range of topics, including account management, opportunities, projects, and document generation. So in this first video, I just want to walk you through the system. So it's a navigation overview. And I think when you first look at Microsoft Dynamics CRM, and here we're looking at it in a browser, what you'll notice is that there's a lot of white space, a lot of space for you to be productive and to do your work. It's not cluttered with a lot of navigation. And I think that Microsoft did a really smart thing with this version of Dynamics CRM, where they made it so that the navigation is up at the top. You can see there's a, a blue bar up at the top. And when you need that navigation, it's there for you. But when you need to work within the space, either on a dashboard or a form or wherever you need to be, it goes away. So there's no navigation cluttering up the system when you're, when you're working. So the navigation starts in the upper left-hand corner where that blue bar is. And you can see there's Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And I can open this up. And you can see that there are different tiles for the different sections. These are the sections that come out of the box. And you can, of course, customize them to be whatever you want to be so that different users see different parts of the system. And they see those in the words that they like. So we could change sales to biz dev. And we could change service to operations. These could all be exactly what you need them to be. And you'll note that these colorful tiles make it very easy to actually navigate on a tablet or, in my case, on a laptop that is touch enabled. So I can choose which module I want. And here I'll select sales. So I'm going to use my finger to tap into sales. And then I'll be in the sales module. So the navigation moves from left to right, Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And then you choose the module you're in. We're in sales. If I open up sales with my finger, you'll see that there are different account types, different record types that we can work with. So companies, opportunities, projects, contacts, the list can go on. And you can, of course, customize what's on this list, display to users what they need to see every day. Now, in this list, I can select one of these, maybe companies. And I can also use the caret next to that company's box, that tile, to see if there are any recently viewed records. So if you work with a lot of companies day in and day out, and you've been working with them quite frequently uh, recently, they'll show up here. But let me tap into companies, and it takes us to an Excel-like list. So once again, up at the top in the navigation, we've moved from Microsoft Dynamics CRM into the module of sales, and then into the record type of companies. Now that we're on companies, I'm looking at this Excel-like list. Some call it a view, some call it a report. And this is a list of all of the companies that we work with. So you can see there's 67 down at the bottom. And for these different views, you can see that some of these are created for me and some of these are created by me. The system views are created for me by a system administrator or a business analyst, someone who has administrative privileges in the system and could create these different views and push them out to different people. The My Views, those are the ones that I create for myself. So creating a view is as simple as just going over to the filter, much like you have a filter in Excel. And you add the filter, select what you want to filter on. Here I am going to filter on, let's say, airport clients. And I'll move from 67 records down to just six. So now I can take this view, this filtered view that I've created, and I can save it as a new view. So these are airport companies. And I'll go ahead and save that view. And that means that now it's in my views, and I can come back to it any time. So it makes it so that it's very easy to empower your users to be able to see all of the data that they need to see to create their views, to create these reports, and come back to that. Then they can actually take these reports, and they can share them out to people, or they can assign them to people who work under them. This is one way of doing reporting and looking at data. Another is by using charts, which if you're familiar with Excel, you've probably used charts before. So just like with the list views, with the charts, these can be created for me or by me. So a system administrator can create charts and push them out to folks, or people can create their own charts, similar to what they do in Excel. So the process for creating a chart, you can actually do it in line here, is you just use the chart designer to create a new chart. And here I'll say, Let's look at all of the clients that we work with. And I want to break them out by when we last contacted them. So I can see all of the folks that we've worked with recently and those that have kind of fallen behind. So I'll just go ahead and save this chart. And now I've created my own chart. I'll close the designer, and I can now look at this chart. 
Now with the charts and with the lists, you can actually interact with the data in a lot of different ways. So I could filter this down on the client type side. So using the data side to say, show me all of the, let's say, oil companies that we work with. And when was the last time that we contacted them? So of all of our active companies, I'm going to filter down on oil companies. And you'll see that there are 15 of those. The chart refreshes to reflect the data over on the left. And I can see we've actually kept in touch with our oil companies fairly well recently. So we've talked to them in July and June. To, this is August. So let me just look at the ones that we haven't contacted recently in May. So I'll look at those. And you can see that as I filtered over here on the chart, the data changed. And I can split these out and maybe I'll look at them now by client satisfaction just to see how satisfied are these clients that we have not actually touched recently. And if I break that out, you can see, oh, I do have one that's not terribly satisfied. They're kind of middling happy with us. So I should probably reach out to them very soon. And I can just select that one. And the data over on this side shows us that that is exactly the company that I need. I can, of course, take away all of these filters and I can go back to exactly where I started with all of my companies and the entire chart complete. So filtering, that's one way to get to the data. If I want to find a specific company, I could also use the index at the bottom. So you can see there are letters down at the bottom that'll take me to a specific list of companies. Like if I wanted to look at, let's say, all of the Bs, I could do that. Or I can use the search bar up at the top and that allows me to look for companies by name. And that allows me to just go ahead and find the company that I want to work with. So I can then just drill into that company and now I'm on the form. So that completes this video. I have a navigation overview for Microsoft Dynamics CRM for architecture, engineering, and construction. In our next video, we'll talk about working with accounts. And it's a good thing we've landed on this account form because that's a good place to start. Thanks so much.